So what's up guys? We are here at Sebring International Raceway in Florida and this is going to be the first uh, autocross event of the year uh, of the year ever since COVID hit. So today we're going to try out the Hoosiers A7s which I've been meaning to try out for the first time. So I'm excited to see how that goes. So let's go. So the, that was the event. Unfortunately, we got a lot of water and a lot of rain, you know, pouring down. Uh, I, I just decided just to go home because it's, there's no point with the slicks. I'll be just sliding around the whole the whole time. But the runs I did get in, they were they were kind of wet, but not wet enough to you know it was wet en it was it was good enough for me to actually have some traction there. Um, I have to say that this event, the PCA event, is, is pretty good and it has decent drivers out there. Uh, I think it was about 20 odd drivers um, in total. And there was three guys that were pretty, extremely decent guys, um, veterans. And I was on the last run group and unfortunately it was kind of raining. So I have mixed feelings about the Hoosiers, but for but definitely the Hoosiers are worth every penny because of the amount of traction that I was able to get in a wet day. And uh, you know, just to put it out there, on my first run with the Hoosiers, with my rear sway bar connected, which I usually don't run it with my rear sway bar connected, I got the fastest time of the day. On my first run off the get-go, like 24 seconds just like that on my first run, beat the fastest time just like that. And at the end of the day, my fastest run was uh, 22 seconds, 22 seconds, which is crazy. And, but I hit a cone or two, but my fastest run, clean run was a 23, which I was like, whoa. And the car felt so planted in the rear, like I never experienced my car with that level of traction before. So that was exciting. And I actually, my first gear is actually usable now. I can actually use my first gear on the launch. My second gear is even, it feels my, like my third gear with the other tires. So I'm extremely happy with the results, but kind of, you know, it's a letdown because of the rain, the weather, and I couldn't really do my 10 runs. I only did five runs and I just packed it, packed it up and left because my car got wet inside and out. It was a whole mess. 
but I had fun. I will definitely, do, I'm de I will definitely do this event again. You know, but I'm gonna be more mindful about the weather. You know, check the weather conditions ahead of time before I, I kind of book the event. So the next event will be Gulf Coast. Um, I'm gonna. Try, that's a better. That's a, that that place has better competition. It has a lot of a lot of good drivers. And it's like my measuring stick for all of Florida, basically, to see how I would stack up to the to the you know to the really really good guys. And that's probably next Saturday. Let's see. Um, I'm excited for that one because that one has is a longer course, and it's a more they it's more intricate. But just to leave it said, the Hoosiers, incredible. I big smile on my face. You know, really fast time. The car, they're not a hint of understeer, slight understeer, but that was because I overdid it with the steering wheel. But the oversteer, not even a hint of it, like just pure manageable, a manageable car. Like my suspension with those tires, crazy setup. Uh, super happy and can't wait to do it again.